魂はさらなる高みへブリッジブレイブソウルズ All right, guys, what is going on? Your boy David, aka Dave X, back on the channel, back with Bleach Wave Skulls, guys. And holy shit, yo, I know this trailer has been released like a few days ago, but I just wasn't able to make a reaction video to it. But yo, this shit is so fucking hard. Spirits are forever with you, confirmed Kinpachi Zaraki and Retsu Onohana guys so it is a massive massive hype because as you guys have seen the trailer right now the trailer looks so good the artwork is insane uh, the character designs look incredible so uh, we're gonna react to the trailer once more real quickly um, just because of how amazing it is and apparently the stats and skills and gameplay are out which I haven't seen yet so we might as well react to that as well so uh, let's play the trailer once more Spirits are pretty with you. Oh, I can buy this. He looks so pretty. Look at this gameplay, guys. How we with the three color slash, or how many colors in it is it? One. I see blue, purple, yellow, and something else. <laughs> I mean, the slashes and how he jumps out with the eye aura that comes with it. It's so good. Plus, he has two swords, guys. It's just amazing. So, look at how clean he looks. He looks so good, guys. I can't even. He looks so good. The boy can look at this artwork, guys. Honestly, I still can't. I can talk about this all day long, but this Kampashi looks insane on on this artwork. Next up, Retsu. Ah. I mean, here in this gameplay, she kind of looks like kind and sweet, but if you go to the... Dude, this artwork though, she looks so... She looks like the, the manga Retsu, that, no, not the manga Retsu, the... Yeah, the manga Retsu, uh, the Thousand Year Blood War version, where she was like just ice cold and... This artwork also shows the bit of ice cold look that she has in her eyes. Plus, she has the blood sword. It's, I mean, it, the artwork looks so, it looks so clean. It looks so good. Ah, the hype is real. So let me play it one more time without me actually talking about it. I cannot get enough of this trailer guys honestly it just looks so clean and apparently the gameplay is out right uh, right now as well on the Bleachy Bay Souls channel so let's react to that as well okay guys so here we are with the gameplay of the new characters so we will be getting the stats and skills and the full gameplay of these characters so I'm quite sure that everyone has seen this already by now but uh, yeah we're just gonna okay first off is Dretsu Onohana uh, she looks amazingly clean okay so she is an SP unit with 852 base SP so if you add the 50 the 50 uh, SP slot as the basic slot you already have 900 SP which is amazingly insane uh, she is a technique killer uh, hollow killer okay so uh, yeah we can just listen and read it so uh, she has so strong attack recharge I believe is it uh, her soul trade is strong attack recharge time duration okay 12% 852 uh, she has a new innate skill full stamina only Reduce strong attack cooldown plus 
What does that mean? What does it mean? New innate skill, full stamina only with use, strong attack, cooldown. Oh, so your cooldown is even quicker if you have full stamina. Yo, <laughs> okay. Oh, she has a, is that a boost heal move? No, it's a charge heal move. It's a charge heal move. It's a charge, charge strong attack, which heals. She has weaken and drain on her first and second strong attack, as well with the special and the normal attacks. Okay, so that's a double status ailment. That's always good. Um, let's see what else do we have. Uh, Medic and sprinter plus one. Uh, she can learn damage inflictions at full stamina and frenzy plus two. Yo, <laughs> frenzy plus two and damage inflicted at full stamina plus twenty percent as well. Yo, she is gonna be insane. Do I see a five second debilitator as well? I, I do believe it is. Yo, she's gonna be amazingly OP. <laughs> okay, uh, if you take into account these abilities and her soul trade, uh, that means that she will be able to quickly and effectively deal out a whole lot of damage. Yo, uh, like seriously. Frenzy plus two, innate skill, uh, unlockable skill, uh, full stamina damage plus 20% and a reduction cooldown if you have full <laughs> drain and weaken on everything except strong attack 3 which is the healing move charge attack with heal okay yo I'm so curious when you use this fully charged it will deal maximum damage to a larger area and will also heal okay so the more you charge it the more it will heal very interesting. I'm so curious on this character. I'm so screwed, I don't have orbs. This works well with her innate skill medic. Okay. Yo, true fact. Um, even if you don't have full stamina anymore, you can just heal yourself. Yo, she's gonna be so OP. Weaken defense as another attainable skill. It means that she can weaken her enemy with her special move on defense. It's too OP. <laughs> Yo, weak defense as well. She can also learn Marauder. How much? How OP is this Retsu gonna be? Like seriously, what what is Zaraki gonna? I can't even. Okay, uh, let's just play. Oh, she looks she looks really cool. She looks really cool. Um, don't interrupt me right now. We're gonna start with the normal attacks. Oh, that's great range. Holy shit, that third, strong, that third normal attack. Oh, yo, I like this, I like this. Oh, it looks so clean. It looks very clean. I like the slashes and I like the graphics on it too. It looks really clean. I like the, I, I really like the graphics on these normal attacks, okay. Strong attacks, first strong attack. Yo, that animation, holy shit. Yo, that's clean, that's clean. Yo, that's, that's, I like those. Ah, yo, that's dope, honestly. It looks like the, what? What just happened? Oh, it's like the the vacuum vortex that gathers the and that gathers the and the that gathers the enemies together into the explosion stuff. It's a shame you can't see it completely on screen though, but it it looks really good. It looks really cool. Ah, I'm actually speechless. Okay, third strong attack is it the charge move? Yo, that's a great full screener. I like the animation. It's a shame that you don't see the complete animation of the strong attacks and and these, but it looks really clean. Special move, merciful splendor. <laughs> ah, it looks clean. You see at the end uh, on how, I mean, hold up. So at here she looks like sweet and harmless but if you play it out a little bit more yeah. at this at here is the look where she gets <laughs> look at this look this is so uh it's frightening it's scary i like the special move i honestly do 
I honestly do. It, Retsu looks like a whole god. Like seriously. Uh, let's play it one more time completely from the start. Um, yeah, she looks amazingly cool. I really like the normal attacks already with the graphics that are going on. Uh, definitely with the last slash with the four tags going up. It looks really clean. First strong attack um, is probably the most favorite in my opinion on graphics. Second strong attack is also really good uh, with great uh, AoE. Great AoE. Um, a third strong attack. Yeah, it looks. I mean, in general, she is amazingly OP. So she has <laughs> a double status ailment on everything except on the third strong attack, which is a heal move. She has Frenzy plus two. She has Medic. She has a five second debilitator, if I'm not mistaken, for her weaken and drain effect. Uh, she has an attainable skill, which is full stamina damage boost plus 20%. Uh, plus, she has another skill uh, which gives your strong attack, uh, strong attacks back quicker if you have full stamina. Damn it! If you have full stamina, and if you're missing your stamina, you can just heal yourself. Plus, she has more water as well. I can't even. <laughs> Yo, she is amazingly OP. Now the special move once again. Ah, <laughs> it looks so good, honestly. Yo, okay, yo. If if Retsu is already this good, guys, I can't even comprehend what Soraki's gonna be. But I love this character design, this artwork. Um, also with the special move, he looks so good. So Soraki kinda has the upper hand when it comes to my personal favorite. Uh, let's see. I, I'm guessing he's gonna be. He's probably. I don't think he's gonna be a, a, a an SP unit. Um, yeah. So 800, 800 attack straight off the bat. Uh, mind attribute character with Captain Killer. Yo, his character design looks sick. Holy shit. His character design only honestly looks insane. I mean, look at the double swords and how he has like. Uh, his arm is like completely white, like all, almost fused with the sword. And maybe it's the same thing with the other hand, but he has a double sword. Um, I'm guessing that is a 16% damage reduction link. Uh, yeah, so I'm quite sure that he will have, could he have flurry plus two? It could be, it would be pretty sick. Uh, damage taken reduction minus 16%. He is a captain killer. Uh, innate skills are weaken immunity and paralysis immunity and guard break. Uh, oh, I see insta kill on the special move. Amazingly interesting. No status ailments, but that doesn't matter much. Uh, what else does he have? Um... He can learn the new skill, Brave Battles Only, Prevent Lost Ditch Survival. Okay, um, that's pretty interesting. Which blocks enemies that deals the killing blow to survive. So, yeah, okay, so I see plus two. Is it for me plus two? Um, so yeah, uh, will this mean that Kenpachi could be the new PvP meta? I don't think he will because he doesn't have the Brave Battle immunity skill. Uh, plus, he doesn't have a barrier, so uh, I don't know. Uh, he could be a possible Yamamoto counter if he has a lot of defense, I don't know. But it would, maybe, maybe, he could be a Yamamoto killer. If he has enough. He can also learn Ignore Brave Battle. Uh, okay, forget what I mentioned. We obviously weren't done yet, David. He can also learn Ignore Brave Battle Invincibility, which will also help turn the tide in Brave Battles. So we got ourselves our Yamamoto counter, guys. Here he is. <laughs> oh my god, so... Captain Killer, ignore Brave Battle Invincibility, and ignore Lost Ditch Revival. So obviously, this is the Yamamoto uh, counter. But this is what I mean when it comes to PvP. I mean, 
Back in the day when Manga Retsu was the PvP queen, for she was the PvP god for a very, very, very long time. And now K-Lab is like bringing out a new PvP meta character and barely like three months later, they already bring a counter. So I don't know. I don't like how how PvP is ignored. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what to think about it. But uh, let me know y'all thoughts about this. Uh, but okay, new PvP. God, Kempachi, he looks clean. Um, on top of this, he can also learn Brave Battle Counter, making him a character with truly Brave Battle skills. What's a Brave Battle Counter? Is it the same? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, probably. Okay. Yo, okay, he looks clean. He is a normal attack melee specialist, yeah, obviously. And will be able to strengthen his attack even further when he learns Flurry plus two, Flurry plus two. Ah, what's the plus 10? Does he have a barrier? Barrier plus 10? Is it true? Because I see the blue. What's the plus 10? Is it a barrier? I, I believe it is. It is, he has a barrier. They didn't notice, they didn't mention that. Oh my god, so, <laughs> I can't even, uh, barrier plus 10, flurry plus 2, brave, ignore brave battle invincibility, brave battle counter, uh, ignore lost ditch revival, <laughs> am I forgetting something, I don't know, but this character is OP, captain killer, normal attacks, let's see what you got, his character design looks so clean, Look at the double swords. Okay. Oh, yo. Holy shit. That's clean animation. And great range on that. Holy shit. Yes. I like this. I like it. I like it. I really do. Strong attacks? Not that they matter. Oh. That's great range, though. Great. I like this character. Second strong attack. Oh, does that even hit? It hits behind him. It kind of is like a full screener, if not a complete. That's great. That's great range. Like, seriously. That's seriously great range. Ah, oh, the graphic looks so clean. <laughs> I want them both, but I can't. Okay, third strong attack. Holy shit. Yo. Yo. I like it. Yo. Yo! Special move Twin Blade. Twin. Yes, I like it. I honestly do. I like. I'll just like this part. How he blows out of the mountain, cuts it all to pieces with the eyes aura, looks up. Ah, oh, so clean. It looks so good. Yo! Holy shit. Okay, let's play it one more time from the beginning. <laughs> okay, so we got ourselves an amazingly strong SP unit and an amazingly strong uh, melee normal attack damage character, which is the Yamamoto counter. Great animations on the normal attacks. I like the colors. Yellow, blue, and uh, pink, purple. But great range on it. Plus he has guard break, which makes him a perfect auto unit as well. Damage taken link. First one attack. Great range on that. Ugh. Even if he's a, a flurry unit, guys, his normal is strong attacks have great range. Also the second one, great range on second strong attack. Yeah. Yeah, I like the third song attack the most. Uh, it looks so clean. The animations and the graphics are so good, guys. Honestly, Caleb has, has outdone themselves once again. Special move. Mm. Yeah, amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay. So yeah, guys, uh, that's it for my personal reaction on these characters. Um, sadly enough, I don't have too many orbs. <laughs> I have like 1,500 on one account, and on my other account, I have like 400 orbs. So yeah, I'm actually quite. I don't need. I don't know if the fillers are 
unknown. But I'm guessing we will see more Spirits of Forever with you characters in this banner. Or at least I hope so. So uh, yeah, that's it for my personal reaction on this video, guys. Hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Show some love. Hit the like button down below for your boy David. And these amazing two new characters that are coming up. Uh, furthermore, let me know into the comments down below what your thoughts are about these characters. About these characters, who's your personal favorite? Uh, do you like them both, or just Retsu, or just Kenpachi? How many orbs do you guys got ready for this? How many orbs? How many orbs are you guys planning to use on this banner? Uh, anything, it doesn't matter. Hit the like. Uh, let me know into the comments. I'm really curious what your thoughts are about this banner. Uh, furthermore, hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already, guys, to see more Bleach Bear Souls related content. And uh, I'm already wishing you guys the best of luck on your summons on this, and also already the best wishes for the next upcoming year for 2022. Um, the year flo uh, flew by amazingly quickly. Uh, it was a good year for Bleach Brave Souls in general, and let's hope it will be even better for 2022 with the return of the Bleach anime at the end of the year as well. So uh, lots of hype coming up. I really like these characters. Uh, already wishing you guys the best of luck on your summons. Hopefully I will too. And uh, yeah, that's it for the video, guys. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Y'all know what to do. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. And hope to see you guys all again into the next upcoming video. So until the next one, guys. Take care later. Peace. <laughs>